Okay, so we're going to look at making your wallpaper a little bit more productive so you have an organizational scheme on your desktop. So I've got this wallpaper made here, and we're just going to create some regular old sections. So the first thing you do is open it up in Photoshop or whatever um, image editor you want and create a new layer. And we're not going to name it or anything. Now, if you uh, have a shape tool in your image editor, you can use that. I'm going to use the rounded rectangle tool to create my sections. Um, alternatively, you can just use the marquee to create uh, a box and then fill it in with the paint tool, like this. But we're not going to do it that way because we have a shape tool and it's uh, a little bit better. So, I'm setting my foreground color to black, and I'm just going to go ahead and set the radius, because I, I want some, I want these sections to be rounded. Um, I'm going to set the radius to 40 so I get those nice rounded corners. But it doesn't matter, you can do it however you want to do it. Um, and I'm going to create a section here, and there's one. I'm just going to duplicate this layer a couple times, and I'm going to do that by pressing Command-J. But you can also duplicate from here. And just let's move these around a little bit. Okay, so this, these were too big to, fill, to all fit on here. So I'm going to select the layers here, and just shrink them down. I'm transforming Command T. And I'm going to shrink them down here so they fit nicely. Now that we've got those layers, I'm just going to group everything here and reduce the opacity so we can still see the wallpaper. And now we've got these nice little sections for icons and stuff. Now what we can do additionally, this is all you really need to do to create these sections, is uh, go ahead and name them. So I'm going to change to white, and I'm going to type out here in a nicer font, I guess. Let's just pick something. And, and let's say this is going to be apps. Make that a little bit bigger. There we go. That's 61. And I'm going to put that right there. And do another one. This will be docs. Just make sure that's aligned the same. And our last section I will call other. And you can name these whatever you want, um, however you want to organize your desktop. But now you have these organized sections. And you can just go ahead and I'm going to add a little drop shadow to this so it's easier to read. There we go. And now you have these organized sections on your desktop, which is really nice because there you go. <laughs> you're, you're done and you have... Um, and you have a place to store everything. So you can do it like this. You can section things off into four separate corners if you want to. You can have skinny little uh, um, uh, sections, so you can have a lot of them and fit more on there. However you want to do it is up to you, but that's basically all that's necessary is to create some black spaces or white spaces or whatever you want, however you want to do them, reduce the opacity and name them, and then you just stick your icons in there and you've got a nice organized wallpaper.